In this video, we're going to start a new series on how to use TalkBack. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. So while I was working on this video, Sam from The Blind Life messaged me and asked me if I wanted to add to his TalkBack 101 series. And of course I said yes, especially since I was already working on it. So thank you Sam for including me and definitely check out the whole TalkBack 101 playlist. I'll leave a link in the description and in the YouTube card. So first, what is TalkBack? TalkBack is the screen reader available on all Android phones and it allows blind and visually impaired people to access and navigate Android phones and it does this with vibration and auditory and verbal feedback. So basically it tells you what's on the screen. A lot of people who are blind and visually impaired use iPhone and iOS with voiceover but there's actually a lot more TalkBack users than you might think. Sometimes iPhones are just way too expensive and other times there's some freedoms that you have with Android that you don't have with iPhone. Whatever the reason, TalkBack and VoiceOver are both very good options whether you're blind or visually impaired and TalkBack has come a really long way, especially in the past couple of years. So this is the first video in a series I'm going to do about TalkBack and this is going to be the basics and everything you need to know to set up your Android phone or to turn TalkBack on in your settings and just do some basic navigating. So here is my Nexus 6P and I went ahead and did a factory reset on it so I can show you guys how to set up a brand new Android phone. So what you want to do is on the setup screen you take two fingers and you tap and hold on the screen. Continue touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode. Accept it says that accessibility is enabled and it immediately launches the TalkBack tutorial. Navigate up button. You can just go ahead and dismiss that by hitting the navigate up button. And also, while I'm here, you can go to vision, vision settings, settings and change a lot of things like magnification, inverting the colors, and all that kind of things. So if you have a phone that's already set up and you want to turn on TalkBack, you can go to settings and then go to accessibility. And sometimes for certain phones, you might have to go under vision first, but in this case, all we have to do is tap on TalkBack. And now we can just hit the toggle button and accept these options. TalkBack on, TalkBack. And it says TalkBack on. Now to do this in an easier way, you can go to accessibility shortcut Volume key shortcut talk back. So in this phone is the volume button. For certain phones, especially with a home button, you can triple tap the button, but when there is no home button, it's usually holding the volume up and down buttons simultaneously. So let's go ahead. Help and feedback on switch. Shortcut so on switch first you have to turn it on. Allow from lock screen off switch. And I like to allow it from lock screen. I already have the shortcut on, but shortcut service you can choose what service you want. So Select to speak. Switch access control device. on this phone, it's only a couple different options, but with the new Android updates and on my Pixel 2 XL, there's magnification and you can also invert the colors and a lot of other things. But I like to have it on TalkBack. So once you have the accessibility shortcut enabled, all you have to do is press the uh, volume up and volume down buttons together and talk back on. it'll tell you that TalkBack is on and if you want to turn it off, you just do the same thing. You press the volume up and volume down buttons at the same time. So here is the home screen and let's talk about how to navigate. So you can swipe to the left and to the right to move between different objects on the screen. Settings, folder, play, settings, folder, create. And also when TalkBack is talking, you can touch the proximity sensor to make it stop talking. But for me, I usually turn that off because I usually put my phone pretty close to my face and I'm trying to get TalkBack to speak to me. And then it, I inadvertently like turn it off because my face is too close. But by default, if you touch the proximity sensor, it will stop TalkBack. 
Also, if you notice while you're swiping, it has a vibration feedback, a sound feedback, and it also has uh, a little square around what you're focused on. You can change uh, the sound and the vibration in the settings if you want those off. And another way to navigate besides swiping left and right is just sliding your finger across the screen. Folder, folder, settings, folder, play, Google search, Google, Google search, Google. And it will read whatever's under your finger at the moment. Sometimes when you are swiping left and right, say you start Messages. near the bottom and you swipe to the right, Camera. it'll make a sound and that will say that you're at the end of the screen. And if you swipe again, Google. it will take you back to the top of the screen. Swiping left and right does not take you to the navigation bar, which is right at the top with the time and the battery um, percentage. It also doesn't take you to the navigation bar at the bottom, like the home and the back and the recent apps. For the navigation bar, you're just going to have to put your finger on there. But for the navigation row, there are some gestures which we will go over in the next video of special talkback gestures to handle those of the back and the home and the recent apps. So here I am in the settings and if you're at the bottom of the list, at least what's on the screen, if you swipe to the right, it will automatically scroll for you and it will also give you some audio feedback of how far you are in the list. The higher the pitch, the further down you are in the list. So back on the home screen, if you find what you're looking for and you want to activate that item, all you have to do is double tap. So let's go. Live accessible. And remove, item. So let me go ahead and double tap on this. So here we are on the website and I wanted to show you how to navigate in different ways. So right now we're at the top of the screen and if we swipe down, links. it'll say links, controls. controls. Characters. Words. So if I wanted to navigate by word, I can just swipe Live. now. Accessible. We are, we are a we are. So it will read word by word. If you swipe down again and it says lines, if you navigate left and right, now it's going to travel by lines. And so that, that's the same thing with headings, with paragraphs, words, or characters. So right now, TalkBack only recognizes a single finger gestures. So if you use two finger, it kind of bypasses TalkBack and goes directly to the phone as if you're using one finger. So for instance, without TalkBack, if you swipe up and down on a web page or on a list, you can scroll through that list. With TalkBack, you can use two fingers and do the same thing. So you can scroll down and then you can scroll up. This also works when swiping between different screens or different home screens. So if I swipe with two fingers toward the left, it'll take us to the next home screen as if without talk back, it would just be a single finger swipe back and forth. This is also the same thing when you're zooming in and out of a picture. So if you pinch in with two fingers, TalkBack is going to ignore that gesture. And if you pan around with two fingers on a, uh, on a picture that is zoomed, it will also ignore that gesture. Without TalkBack, you just swipe down from the top to get to your notifications. But with TalkBack, you can use two fingers and swipe from the top and it will open your notification shade. If you want to open your quick settings, you can swipe three fingers down from the top quick settings. and it will take you to your quick settings. So those are the basics when it comes to TalkBack and navigating around your Android phone. There's still so much more to cover and I'll probably be doing um, a TalkBack video once every two or three weeks. In the next one, we're going to go over some special talkback gestures and some of the menus that it has. Don't forget to check out the whole Talkback 101 playlist that I will link below. Alright guys, so if you liked this video and you found it helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up below and hit subscribe and the bell so that you can watch more videos on how to live accessible. Thanks for watching everyone. See you guys in the next one.